a customer sits down and, and we're just going to do an, an, an enactment. I sit down at the table. And I've selected from the wine list that I would like to have the Chardonnay. Show everyone what, what you would do. Welcome, sir. This is a very good wine. Very good. So what the customer's expectation when you're showing them the wine, they're confirming it is, in fact, the one they ordered. And what they're looking for, they're looking, is it, is it the producer? In this case, Terrar Napa Valley. If the wine list said it was a 2009, did you bring me a 2009? So he's presented the wine to me, and you always, at all times, the wine, what I'm seeing, it's always facing the person who ordered it. Whether it's red or white, you always have a napkin. You this always. Is, this is lit, right? So I'll take out all of it. For so me, it's easier for me. It's cleaner. It is easier. Can you always clean up this one? You insert the key. Stop. You went too far. Okay. Um, you always go one less. Because what you don't want is you never want the end of the key to go all the way through the cork. Okay. And you, what you end up doing, right. But once again, you never, never see, he's already, it's yeah. got to always face your customer. Um, you present the cork always on the um, wine side up. So in this case, it's white. But if it's red, it's much easier. It's always the wine side up. You just yeah. pour about an ounce into the glass. And that just gives the opportunity for the person who ordered to taste it. 99% of the time, they're going to like it. There will be a 1% of the time that someone may complain. And in fact, 99% of the complaints are not that there's something wrong with the wine. It's usually they didn't like it, they made a mistake. I don't know what the restaurant policy is, but it's also an opportunity for you to take it back and upsell it, then give it to Mario and let him sell it by the glass. I'll smell it. I, I confirm and I will shake my head, yes. Party for you got two couples. Right. I start with the ladies, always rolls, always go crosswise. Right. You go the ladies and then the first, and you are the last one because you are the guest. You are the one, so we serve you that. Okay. Now, the only exception to that is if you know they're celebrating someone's birthday or some, there's a guest of honor at the table, that person is next. Okay. And you, and you sort of acknowledge you know, happy birthday or whatever the occasion is, that person is next. But beyond that, you always first serve the ladies first, even if you have to skip the gentleman, and then you come back, and then whoever ordered, even if it was a man who ordered, I mean a woman who ordered, that person is last. And then when you're finished, whether it's a white wine and you put it in an ice bucket, or it's a red wine and you put it at the table, you always put it where the person who's the host can see it. And in fact, if you end up pouring most of it, it's an opportunity to say, would you like a second bottle? The key here is your, your, your job is to do several things. One of it, like I said, is to wow your customer. And you're wowing your customer with your knowledge of wine. Two is to sell wine to your customer. You guys, you have some of the most amazing food. But what I've found when I'm here, that most people are not taking advantage of the wine program. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.